the integral of e to the power of x plus e to the power of x. So in order to solve this, we need to simplify this first. And there's a rule that says if we have e to the power of a plus b, then this is the same as e to the power of a times e to the power of b. So let's go ahead and do that. This will be equal to the integral of e to the power of x times e to the power e to the power of x dx. And this is where we use u substitution in order to simplify this. So let u, so let u equal to e to the power of x. Then we differentiate it. So du over dx and the derivative of e to the power of x is also e to the power of x. So we end up with du is equal to e to the power of x dx and dx is going to be 1 over e to the power of x du. So here we have the integral of e to the power of x, right? And that's basically a u times e to the power of e to the power of x. So this right here will be a u and the dx is 1 over e to the power of x du. So times 1 over e to the power of x du. And notice that this e to the power of x is also a u. So let's change that. We have here a u. And you might notice that we can cancel out this u and this one. So here we have the integral of e to the power of u du. Now, what is the antiderivative of e to the power of u? It's going to be e to the power of u plus c. And the final step is to substitute the u back to our original x variable. So here we have e to the power of e to the power of x plus c.